Android stereos are becoming more popular with each year, and for good reason. They offer tons of unique features that the usual car audio manufacturers won't. And our friends at Decyta have sent us something very cool, their 10.2 inch Toyota Corolla Android Double Din Stereo. We liked it so much that we installed it inside my Corolla. Check out the complete installation on our channel, I'll put a link in the bio and at the end of the video. Thank you to Decyta for partnering with us on this video. We'll put links in the bio to check out all of their car stereos and products. Not only does this thing have an oversized 10.2 inch touchscreen, it is combined with a dash kit and is ready to be installed. It also has built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, wireless and wired Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, built-in navigation, three USBs, Plus is basically a tablet with Android 10.0, meaning you can download any app you want and browse the internet. We spent a day installing this stereo inside my Corolla, so I have first-hand experience with it, and I found some cons that I'd like to talk about at the end of the video. Otherwise, I really enjoy this stereo. Inside the box is a Toyota USB retention cable. CAN bus CB004 interface, which retains steering wheel control, factory camera, radio antenna, and auxiliary. Wi-Fi antenna, which must be connected for signal. GPS antenna. RCA preamp output harness for front, rear, and subwoofer, which also features front camera input and power cable. RCA AV input harness, which retains factory camera, which we'll use later for screen mirroring. External microphone for hands-free calling. USB. Instruction manual and a 10.2 inch double din Android stereo with built-in dash kit. The rear connections include Wi-Fi antenna, wiring harness, expandability harness panel, GPS antenna, radio antenna, and HDMI output. Fortunately, the stereo has a single din chassis because once you have all the included harnesses and cables connected in the back, you're dealing with quite a lot back there. It could be difficult to fit everything in the dash if the chassis was any larger. Initial boot time was pretty average, but the stereo has an incredibly fast, instant warm boot time. And by warm boot, I mean that the stereo has already been installed and this is what all your boots will look like from now on. This is one of the most unique stereos we've gotten inside the studio. It's not perfect, but it has a ton of awesome features that you and I have been begging the Pioneers, Kenwoods, and Sonys of the world to add to their stereos for years. The built-in dash kit fits Toyota Corolla years 2014 to 2018, which is why we're popping this bad boy in my 2016 Corolla. IPS capacitive 720p HD screen looked great and is just what we've been waiting for. Plus it plays back 4K video files, obviously not displaying them in 4K but you can still play back a 4K video file which is pretty cool. This thing is like if an Android tablet and a car stereo got together and had a baby. Unlike most manufacturers, the Saita isn't scared to reveal their computer specs to us, listing everything about this stereo on their website. This Max 6 model features the new PX6 processor, Android 10.0 OS, a Rockchip PX6 PCU providing 4GB of RAM, 64GB of internal storage, and a hexa-core processor. This is so refreshing to see what are the rest of you hiding. The sources look good, plus you can drag and drop the sources into different locations like on a smartphone. To use the Decyta to its full potential, you need to connect it to a Wi-Fi source. 
Either use your vehicles if it has Wi-Fi, or simply use your phone as a personal hotspot. The stereo's settings control the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. Once connected, you can literally do anything you want. Treat it like a tablet or iPad. Google and Chrome are pre-downloaded. Surf the web for whatever you want. YouTube works wonderfully. Check out QMV's latest videos. Other pre-downloaded apps include Gmail and the Google Play Store where again, you can download anything. Be aware, you'll be using your phone's data for all web and app usage with the hotspot connection. Onto Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Both will work with this stereo. However, Apple CarPlay is the only one that works wirelessly. For wireless, connect to the stereo's Wi-Fi with your iPhone and enter the CarPlay source. CarPlay worked really fast on this unit and everything looked fantastic on the massive display. For USB connection, the Apple CarPlay only works with the single USB harness. The interface looks great. Everything is sharp and vibrant and I'm loving the design. Plus iOS 14's update gives wallpaper options for you on Apple CarPlay. Android Auto also works and you can connect to any of the three USBs for access. Again, the Decida does not support wireless Android Auto. The unit also features built-in navigation, but personally, I'll stick to Google Maps and Apple CarPlay. It's also possible to screen mirror a device with its RCA AV inputs. All you would need is one of our mirroring kits for iPhone or Android. I'll put a link for both options in the video bio below. The unit has three USB inputs. The single USB is made specifically for Apple CarPlay. It can also be used for Android Auto. Android Auto will work on all three USBs. The dual USBs work best with a thumb drive for stored audio or video files. For audio, it plays back MP3 and WMA files. Music playback from the USB provides album arts work. For video, it plays back MP4, and again, can handle 4K videos, and also JPEG images. Use the 64 gigabytes of storage for the stereo to download apps and save files to the Decida, like photos, music, and videos. Bluetooth provides hands-free calling, as well as wireless music streaming from your apps and music libraries. Some other cool features include compatibility with TPMS sensors for individual tire pressure and temperature per wheel, and a ST7708N radio chip for high performance station pickup, 18FM and 12AM presets. For audio, the Decider features a built-in 4x50 watt amplifier chip, plus a 15 band EQ with presets and a DSP setting, plus other great customizable settings to perfect your sound. Set and customize the color of the touchscreen commands on the left of the display panel. Plus change the wallpaper. Pull down the top of the display for fast access to settings and notifications. The screensaver clock graphic is a nice touch. All right, let's test this to Saita out and see how Android stereos fare. The first test we ran was two channels driven at four ohms, 14.4 volts, one kilohertz EQ flat. Our audio precision will generate our signal and measure distortion. At volume 24, our HP 8903B audio analyzer picked up 17 watts RMS, 1.2% distortion, and 8.17 volts of output. We can swap between channels. Our AMM1 read 12 watts. We got 8.11 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 4.68 amps of current. Down to 40 hertz, at volume 25, our HP picked up 16.4 watts RMS, 1.02% distortion, and 8 volts of output. Channel swap. 
our AMM1 read 13 watts RMS. We got 8.06 volts on the Lumi and we drew 4.73 amps of current. Next, we tested the RCA preamp outputs. At one kilohertz, full volume 28, we got 2.98 volts with 1.03% distortion. At 40 hertz, volume 29, we got 3.18 volts with 0.75% distortion. Our final test was frequency response. We used our audio precision to run up each frequency. All in all, we were satisfied with the results of the Decita. They upped the RCA preamp output on their Android stereos. Despite all these amazing features, we have to go over some cons. I would have loved to see an HDMI input instead of an output, but I guess they were thinking about the rear seat passengers more than the front seat. I also have an issue with climate control. After we installed the stereo, now when driving, you can't see your factory climate control command buttons because the stereo hangs out over them a little bit. The site must have known this because the stereo displays digital icons of your climate control when you make adjustments. This is kind of like putting a band-aid on a stab wound, but you get used to it after a while. My factory backup camera resolution comes up poorly on the larger screen. This has nothing to do with the stereo, it's just that my backup camera is not HD. The next thing I want to do is replace my factory camera with an HD backup camera. There's no audio playback from smartphones via the USB sorts outside of CarPlay and Android Auto. After you shut off your car, the stereo remains on for like two or three seconds, which is a little weird at first. I do dearly miss my rotary dial. We had a good run and I found myself reaching for it the first two weeks while driving, but that's just muscle memory and I've learned to let it go. The volume icon is very small and you can barely notice it when adjusting the levels. I wish this was bigger and more conspicuous. Other than that, I really love this upgrade and I'm very happy with the new capabilities I have in my car. Let us know if you'd buy a brand like Decita. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button, join the conversation below, and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.